enjoyed seeing this fairy garden come together. It was so much fun to put it together because it's been months since we've done a garden like this. I kind of just wasn't in the mood and you kind of, you got to be in the mood to do these kinds of things. And I think it's because we get so busy and distracted by projects out here in our big garden that it really isn't until fall and winter that I start thinking about smaller projects and like cozy things that I can do for inside. And it's Saturday to today and it was all rainy for most of the day. It's a little bit chilly out here, but I have my coffee. Uh, Benjamin is napping right now. So Aaron and I thought, you know what, let's run outside and just put together a quick fairy garden. Um, so I had some stuff kind of gathered up um, because we had maybe planned on doing a fairy garden this next week. So we just kind of ran. I gathered all my stuff together. We brought it out here and got it done. So I'm really excited about it. Um, and I think it turned out fun. So I thought I would just show you kind of our setup here and talk you through a little bit of the process. So as you can see, we're right here underneath our balcony. I don't really know what to call this patio. It's like the patio in front of Versailles, the balcony patio. Anyway, um, we did a video where I decorated this area and you can see I haven't got around to making my walnut wreaths yet. I made one, but I need to make one more. So I put my old fall wreaths up, which are working for now. Um, so typically we like to set up right here because the lighting is perfect in the afternoon because it's on the other side of the house. So it's still nice and bright in here, but it's shaded. Um, then I have my work table right next to me right here, which you usually can't see in the videos. You can see I have all of my cactus soil here and I used five bags total. I didn't use any of these bags. I opened them because I didn't know if I was going to need them or not, but I'll close those right back up and take them back up to my plant room. And then this is what is left of my supplies. So here's my coffee right here. And then I have several bags of rocks. The rocks in these gardens, if you see them in Ziploc bags like this in my kind of stash, it means that I have used them in other gardens and they've been washed and put in these bags for use, use later on. And then if they're in these bags, it's because I haven't used them yet. So I just used a little bit of this washed sand for, or garden sand for um, the little fireplace area. And then I mixed in a little bit of these like shiny black stones into the area around. And then this is just some mulch we use out in our own garden. And then I brought out plants on <laughs> cookie sheets. And then this is probably the most useful tool today for today's project. Let's see if I can get it to focus. So this right here is a lens brush. This came with one of Aaron's cameras or lenses or something like that and I stole it. A long time ago, it re used to retract, like, ugh, I can't get it to retract, I don't know why it doesn't work now, but it's super soft and it's really nice for brushing soil. Like if I get soil on a succulent, I can just brush it off really easily with this. And then the other end I can use to kind of help tuck soil in around plants. So I don't know, I'm sure you can order this. I'll see if I can find a link because this is an amazing tool. And you've already seen this and I've kind of toyed with the idea of just taking the lights out because you know in the daytime it makes it look a little bit messy as lights kind of do look but at night it looks so magical so I don't know what I'm going to do with about that. The thing about these gardens that I see or the most commonly asked questions are um, one is that a long-term garden? Well for me they're usually not because I enjoy putting them together normally and so I'll put them together enjoy them for a few months and then I take them apart and reuse almost everything and if you're wanting to create one of these miniature or fairy gardens to, and have it last a long time succulents are the very best plants you can use because and this is kind of an answer to another question I see a lot when you pack plants in close together like this it's not detrimental to them it doesn't hurt them one bit um, and succulents and cacti can handle it better than most other plants in fact it slows their growth rate down to where they can stay in these containers for a lot longer than you think um, I could get probably a year or more out of an arrangement like this probably more than a year with just regular grooming and maintenance um, maybe popping one or two succulents out here or there um, to allow for more room but really nothing major and until about the year mark. And I use stuff over and over and over again. Like I showed you the uh, rocks in my Ziploc bags, like all the rocks in this garden, I pick those out when I tear these things apart and I wash them and then I store them for later use. I repot the plants usually individually or in a big pan all together and then I'll let them sit in there until I want to use them again. I just showed you guys a tour of my plant room upstairs in a recent vlog. We'll link that down below. And I just have plants sitting under grow lights just waiting for stuff like 
like this. And so many of the plants up there, like I hardly ever buy plants for that room anymore because they're just on constant rotation. Like I used these now, but later they'll probably be back up there potted again and I'll use some other plants. In fact, if you go back through some of our fairy or miniature gardens, you'll probably notice that some of these plants are the same ones I've used before. Um, and so that's how I kind of keep the cost down, but kind of keep feeding my hobby. Watering for something like this is super easy. I use a really big syringe and that way I can direct the water right to the root balls and that way I don't like accidentally get a bunch into the sand area and mess that up. And I usually water from like the back of the container instead of right in the front and it works pretty well. Now this container does not drain, which I do not recommend for beginners, um, but I probably have to water this once every couple weeks maybe every three weeks, something like that. A little bit more often when it's really warm outside, but um, usually they do really well. And when I water with a syringe, I can control how much water I'm giving it so that I make sure to never end up with a bunch of water collecting at the bottom. And then in terms of light, all of these plants prefer pretty high light. So they need to go in an area that they'll get that like in the brightest window that you have in your house that's where you'd want to put this now in terms of where i keep these so typically like sometimes i'll keep them around the house for a little while sometimes i take them down to my parents garden center um, and just like display them as kind of like an inspirational piece if somebody like i love it when i go places and i see containers already potted up because it kind of sparks something in me so every once in a while i'll take them down there and just leave them there sometimes i just give them to the to my parents and they can sell it or whatever they want to do with it um, sometimes they tear it apart eventually and then they use the plants in other applications so it just depends um, this one will probably live here for a little while Benjamin will be able to look at it um, and he'll want to take the lights out though he's at that age where he like I don't think he will look at things and appreciate it he'll just want to kind of like mess with it a little bit He's a good boy, but he still will want to tear this garden apart. So anyway, I can't really think of anything else, like any other um, things, any other questions. I got this container and most of these, uh, mo all of these fairy, all of these fairy garden pieces at a local um, farm supply store that they had like this huge clear clearance section of fairy garden stuff. I didn't even know they carried fairy garden stuff. I went there for a ch some chicken feed and I just, it stopped me dead in my tracks and I thought, oh, I got to get some of that um, stuff. So I'll try to find similar pieces or the same ones. Maybe I can find them online. I'll link whatever I can down below. The galvanized container here that was at that farm supply store as well and I have no idea who, who manufactures it, but whenever I see low bowls um, and the galvanized ones especially, I usually try to pick them up because I think they're really pretty and I always find a use for them eventually. So anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was just a fun project to put together. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.